welcome back to my channel and this is a tutorial on how to draw a cute cake. First start off by drawing a straight vertical line that goes downwards. Make sure you do this on both sides and make sure that they're equal to each other. Now we're going to join these two lines together with the bottom curve. Also make sure that this is equal to each other. Now we are going to draw another curve upwards. This is going to be the bottom strip of the cake. Remember that this has to be at least a finger length apart and that this has to also be matching the curve at the bottom. Leave a tinier gap in between and start drawing out the plate of the cake. Remember you're trying to create another curve similar, however at the sides it's going to be a lot bigger. Also keep in mind that this curve has to match all the way around up to the other side of the cake. Draw everything out like so. Now it's time to do the top part of the cake. For the top part we're going to create a sort of cloud, draw some nice curves that go all the way around starting from the first corner which go simultaneously around the other corner finishing this off at the top. Remember to keep your curves uneven. Now that the solid base is done, it's time for us to add the details. First add some extra curves on the cloud which will give the cloud more detail. Now from the two sides, we're going to draw two ears they're going to be more of a triangular shape, think of it as unicorn ears, as our cake is going to be unicorn themed. Now with the gap between the two ears, we're going to draw a rainbow. Start off by one section of the ear, draw a round curve, that goes all the way towards the other section of the ear. Remember to take your time while drawing this and to pause the video if you wish. Also keep in mind that this has to be all equal to each other and remember that all the curves have to be even. Remember you need to draw about 7 to 8 curves to draw a rainbow but if you wish you can also manage with 6. Here I'm going to draw about 8 curves. Now that we have made sure everything is accurate, it's time for us to draw the unicorn's horn. Again start from in between the ears, extend a line upwards that goes like this and connect it back down with another line in a triangular shape. Think of this as an isosceles triangle. Draw everything out like so. Make sure to add the details on the horn. Now it's time to add more detail to the cake. First we are going to start off by drawing some guidelines. These guidelines will help us locate where our hearts will go and where the beads will go down. These lines must be drawn vertically that go downwards. Also make sure that these lines are faint, that they can easily be rubbed out when necessary. Now using the guidelines we've created, start drawing your beads like so. Make sure these beads are tiny and that they give 
decoration to the cake, they don't take too much of the spotlight. Don't forget to also add the hearts once you're done with the amount of beads you want to draw. Now a few final details are left. We have to draw the eyes and the mouth. Start off by drawing an upside down curve, think of it as a side face. Do this on both sides and don't forget to add the eyelashes. And then in between these two curves draw a smiley face. Don't forget the little brows. Now our sketch of the cake is fully complete. Now it's time to outline and colour this in. First, we are going to quickly outline everything we've just done in pen. Now that our cake is fully outlined, it's time for us to colour it in. First, we are going to start off with the rainbow. Now the rainbow goes as follows. Red orange, yellow, green, blue and purple and for the eighth color I added pink. Then do the horn which will be your ombre to the ears, clouds and finish off with the hearts and the plate. And don't forget about the strip. And this is our completed cake drawing. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like for more videos and tutorials and I'll see you next time.